everybody, Sweet and Salty Sisters here with you, and today we wanted to talk about some things that we are not experts about, but also that we are experts about. Because I'm an expert when it comes to culinary arts. I love cooking. I love watching the Food I like Network. Eating. Or she likes to eat. I love eating. I love eating. But I love cooking. And what about you? I love sports. You love sports? I love sports. Basketball, baseball, football. We thought we would quiz each other on, I'm going to quiz her on culinary arts, and she's going to quiz me on sportsing terms. Sports so. I'm going to show you two pictures. The first picture is this picture. Okay, and I'm going to show it to them. And then there's another picture. This is what it looks like when you cut it. Okay, this is what it looks like when you cut it. A picture. So do you know what that is? Is that duck? It's not a duck. It's actually a turducken. Do you know what a turducken is? It's something with duck. It is something with duck. Is There's... there like a turtle inside or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. So that's what a turducken is. April has zero points. I would eat that though. Do you know who that is? Can you see? Can I get a hint at all? Like what sport he plays? I think Football. Oh. Um. I don't know. I really don't know. So that's zero. Who is it? For her. It's Aaron Rodgers. Never heard of him. So um, what does it mean to chiffonade? Chiffonade. I thought we were talking about culinary. That sounds like driving. <laughs> it's, a, it's a culinary term. What does it mean? Sounds dirty. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody want to guess? It's not dirty. Chiffonade. A stir? Stir? No. It's it's a specific way to cut. When you chiffonade, you cut something um, in, in the way you slice it. Usually you're chiffonade. Like chop, 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 chop? Yeah, well, it's like if you are cutting herbs, like basil or something, you would roll it up, and then you would slice, 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 and it would be thin strips, little thin strips. So you have zero points. And I have zero points. Do you know who that is? like my son's favorite player okay I know it's not Aaron Rodgers <laughs> <laughs> this is basketball oh okay basketball see I didn't even know what sport he plays for the Golden State Warriors I definitely thought it was soccer because it looks sort of like a soccer outfit it does I don't know it's Wait, Stephen can't... Curry he's a Christian basketball player by the never way never heard of him love him ever great Zero to zero. We're doing good. We're doing great. Alright, let's see. Alright. So there's this TV show that is on um, Food Network. And um, it, um, what they do is they bring in chefs and they give them each a certain amount of money. They give them each, I think, $25,000 to start. So what they have to do is they have to compete. They have to um, cook something. But what happens before each round, they can um, sabotage each other. So they can pay money, but that's their prize money. They can pay money, but like the, the host will bring out things like, um, okay, your prep table that you normally would prep all your food on. Instead of getting a prep table, you get like a little kid's table for their, like that they would play kitchen on. So you can buy that and give that to somebody. Well, what is the name of that game? game show on Food Network. So you want to you guess? Burnt Up? <laughs> uh, it's actually called Cutthroat Kitchen. So, zero points. How many points is a touchdown worth before the field goal? Six. Oh my gosh! Oh my God. <laughs> yes! Nice! Gosh. Nice! That was I was like, it's either four so or six. So that's one to zero. It's one to zero. I'm winning. All oh. right. Who is this person right here? <laughs> Same guy? Some guy? No. It's Guy Fieri. I know. That's the only one I know. Oh. 
<laughs> this is Bobby Flay. Still one to zero. Who is number 24 on the Lakers? Let me think of some basketball players. That's a basketball team, right? <laughs> yes, it is. I thought it was. The only person I can think of that's a basketball player, and I know he doesn't play basketball anymore, but I think he maybe played for the Lakers, is Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Did he play for the Lakers? Yes, but that was a long ah! time ago. But I knew that. <laughs> that's more than what I thought. No, I have no idea. No idea. It's Kobe Bryant. So one, one to zero. Okay. What is a bench scraper used for? To scrape a in, bench? In cooking, what's a bench scraper used for? This is a bench scraper. There's a bench scraper. Okay. That's a bench scraper. What is that for? Slide food out of the oven. Slide food out of the oven. That's a great guess, but what it's for is when you're doing your prep work and you're chopping up your vegetables and stuff, you use the bench scraper to pick it all up and put it into your pan. So how many points is it worth when a person gets fouled out and they get to shoot from the free throw line? One. Yes. That's two. Oh. What does al dente mean? What? Al dente. Pasta. We cook pasta. Al dente. What does that mean? No sauce. <laughs> Extra sauce. <laughs> kind of firm? Yes. Al dente uh, is an Italian term and it means to the tooth. It means it's got a little bit of a bite to it. I'm sorry, I tried to make that one easy. I still guessed it. You, I mean, it took me 12 times, but I still guessed it. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll give you a point. <laughs> Two to one. Who's this? He's like David Tennant. <laughs> He's a football player. Okay. I could have guessed that he was a football player. I mean, he's wearing, like, football gear. Um, he looks like he's beat up in that picture. He looks tired. I seriously... Who does he play for? He sucks. He gets sacked a lot. Plays for the Bears. I have no idea. It's Jay Cutler. No. No? No idea. No idea. This is how I feel when you're showing me pictures of sports people. I'm like... It's a person. It's a girl, I think. It is a girl. She's Italian. And her name is Giada De Laurentiis. All right, I'm next. Sports, sports, sports. It's two to one. I'm winning. How many quarters is in a game of basketball? I mean, you said quarters, so I'd say four. Yep. Okay. What is a Parsons nose? <clears throat> it's it's uh it's part of a of a bird. What is the parson's nose? Is it the scrotum? <laughs> <laughs> she said scrotum. I have no the idea. Parson's nose? No. No. Okay, it's the tail. It's the little tail. You know, it looks like that. It's kind of that shape, like you know, of a turkey, like or a, a, a that's called the parson's nose. What yard is exactly in the middle of the field for when you're playing football? What what's the line? But I've heard I've heard of like people say fifty yard line. So, so is that what you're going with? That's what I'm going with. Dang it. Oh She knows nothing about sports, but I yet know. she knows about sports. Was, I know nothing about food, but guess. yet I love to eat. What does it mean when you're making candy? And it's the hard crack stage. Letting yeah. it set, maybe? Letting it set, okay. Um, that's wrong. It's at a certain temperature. Hard crack stage is about 310 degrees. So what you do is to see if the candy's ready, and it's going to be hard candy, like you want to make like Jolly Ranchers or like really hard candy, you would put a little bit of it hot into <laughs> a glass of water, and it would be hard when you pull it out. It's a hard crack, and like a crack when you break it. In 1456, Scottish King James II banned people from playing what two increasingly popular sports because they were distracting people from training in archery? Golf and cricket. 
You got half of that. Golf. Because golf is a Scottish sport. I know that. Golf and football. What is... It's a cooking method, and it's called sous vide. What does that mean? Marinade. Marinade. That's a good guess. Uh, it's incorrect, but um, sous vide. I like how formal, but it's incorrect. It is incorrect. <coughs> uh, that's wrong. Um, sous vide is when there's this machine that has water in it, and it keeps the water at a constant temperature. And you um, <laughs> take the food that you want to cook, usually meat, and you put it in a vacuum seal bag and vacuum seal it, and you put it in the water to cook. And it cooks to perfection. It's like a restaurant technique that a lot of people use. People do it on um, chopped all the time. All right, this is where all the marbles. You have to think of... Double or nothing? Yeah, you have to think of a culinary question to ask me. And I'm going to ask you a sports question. And how are you going to do that? You don't know anything. I do know a couple things. What's your question? At about what temperature does water boil? Two hundred twelve degrees. How the frick do you know that? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm smart. I'm smart. I know cooking stuff. <laughs> I told you. What is it called when a player makes three goals during one game? It's two words. Is that too hard? I'm not a hockey fan. Oh, it's a sport, though. I don't know. It starts with an H. Hockey puck. Hat trick. She definitely won. I suck at this game. I won the sports game. <laughs> Trivia. Of course, I gave her easy ones. She did. I'm trying to think of easy ones for you. Um, really? Perduckin? Turducken. Whatever. Turkey, duck, chicken, And then turducken. what was that? Scraper thing and then, then... Scraper. Sous vide. I can't even say that word. Chiffonade. I'm a chiffonade, you are right. <laughs> She's a sore loser, but so am I. I'd be ticked if I lost. Anyway, we're going to move on because that face is not nice. So, until next time, keep it sweet. Keep it salty. Bye.